Hey guys, Robert Roy from Wealth Builders HQ here. There's one burning question I've gotten all the time over and over again for two decades of trading and training, and it's how do I choose a trading strategy? And that's what I'm going to try to answer for you today. Coming right up. All right, so let's start off first by defining what a strategy is. Strategy is not just the fact that I'm going to do a covered call or buy an option. A strategy is a systematic approach to how do you do that. In other words, there are four key components that we look at that I have developed for my strategies that we want to have in every single strategy that we create. That is four words, very simple. Identify, enter, manage, exit. I know, I know, I know. You look at it and say, hey Rob, that's way too easy. You know what, it sounds very easy, but it's the hardest thing you'll ever do is to develop a strategy that works using the four components. What we're going to look to do is four words, identify. We need to find what's the reason for picking this as a potential candidate. Enter, what's the rules, the mechanics behind entering the trade? Manage, how do we go about and manage the trade once we enter? our stops, making adjustments, scaling out, and so forth. And then lastly, our final exit. How do we say, trade's over, we're done, it's time to grade the trade, score the trade, right, and move on to our next one. So the strategy is important to understand what it is, right? You've got to consider market conditions. If you are trading a strategy that is bullish and the market is crashing down, let's see, have we had any of that lately? Yes. We have, right? If you're not trading the right strategy, the market's going down and you want it to go up based on your strategy, it's a mistake. So make sure you incorporate that as part of your plan. How long do you plan to be in the trade? Is it a day trade? Or are you in and out right away? Meaning literally seconds you're in and out. Is it an intraday trade where you might get in in the morning, 10, 1030 Eastern and get out later in the day, two, three o'clock, right? Or is it more of a swing trade or even an investment very long term? What's the duration or the length of the trade? Consider your risk profile. Who are you as a trader? Are you a trader that does really well with picking entries? Or maybe you're a trader that does really poorly with picking exits. That's critical that you've got your entries and your exits correct, along with a plethora of other details behind it. You've got to make sure that you've got your risk profile accounted for inside of your trade. So next would be technical analysis. What are technicals? They're the various indicators that you might use in your strategy, in your trading system. Maybe you are a person that's looking to trade channels where the stock is going sideways. You would use something like a stochastics. Maybe you're a momentum trader. Maybe ADX with DMI plus and minus will work for you. Or even the momentum indicator. Maybe you like RSI or MACD. Maybe you're a harmonic trader as I am and you like things like Fibonacci's. You have to incorporate the technicals that you're going to use into your system, into your strategy. So let's go look at a chart on the computer as an example of what you might look for a couple of the components inside of your trading strategy. So here we have a chart of Home Depot and understand as we go through this example, this is not to show you a system that you should be trading, right? This is an example of things that you might be looking for in your system. So as we look at Home Depot, you can see that we've got some moving averages on there. And you'll notice the numbers are right here. Eight is the pink line and the green is 21. The brown is 55. Those are my primaries. Eight and 21 anyway are primaries. 55 becomes more secondary. It has very specific purposes for it. It replaces our 50 uh, and it is exponential. All my moving averages from 55 and lower are exponential. So we made a move down, we broke through the eight, we broke the 21, we closed down below, and now we're up above the 21, right? This could be considered a bullish component of a trade setup. We look at a momentum indicator or an oscillator we've got on here. So CCI as an example, right? We're starting to move up above the zero line. So we're getting into like with a MACD, we're getting into that spring right down in here. We're getting into summer, right? As we come up above the zero. Where could we have a potential resistance here? Well, what about at the previous top that we had? So we're at 249, we're looking at 258, right? So maybe you're using a recent high as your targets. Maybe you've got Fibonacci levels drawn on your charts. And we have, if that was our Fib level in there, and we're not going through a lesson on how to draw Fibs in this one, but 
So maybe 259.29 is resistance. Well, what if you want to scale out? Well, you've got 282 is our next resistance. Then 292 is the one above that. So you could use ADX and DMI plus and minus. You could use volume. Whatever indicator is built into your system, you want to know where do I enter? Where are my targets? Where is my stop? That has to be in every single setup. So one of the last components is before you start putting real money into the trade, make sure that you practice that trade first. Do it on paper. Do it as a non-funded trade. Use a broker who has practice trading or paper trading as part of their platform. So you're doing it in real time. You're just not doing it with real money. Once you learn how, start small, maybe one contract, and work up to the number that you're looking to trade. Here's the question of the day. What kind of trading strategy are you considering using? Let me know in the comments section down below, and I'd be happy to give you my feedback on that. And as always, if you like what you've heard, be sure to subscribe and like the video. Hit the bell to keep up with all of our latest trading content. Until next time, make it a profitable day. Keep focused on the quest to becoming a great trader. Keep crushing it, and we'll see you at the next video. Folks, thanks for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed the training. If you did, please be sure to go ahead and give us a thumbs up and go ahead and click the subscribe button to follow along with all of our great content. And be sure to ring the bell and keep up with our latest training videos. And click down below to see some of our greatest trading videos that we've got available just for you.